Our second transformation is a translation, and they do sound very similar. So transformations are all four of them. Translation is when we're trying to slide a figure or just shift it from one space to another. So it's not going to change the orientation of it, it's not going to turn it or reflect it, but it is just going to move that shape from one place to another. So to vertically and or horizontally slide a figure. Now for all of these transformations, they have different ways of directing you how they're going to transform it. So with the reflections, it would say x-axis or y-axis or give you a different line to reflect over. For a translation, they're going to tell you that x and y, and they'll give this arrow, are going to be changed in this way. And they'll have an x plus or minus h, we'll just say plus, and a y plus k. And for this, your H is representing the horizontal shift. Because it's telling you this is how many units you're going to add or subtract to your X value. So that's going to control your left and right shift. Your K is going to represent your vertical shift. Same concept, because it's being, it's adding or subtracting to your Y value, it's going to control whether it's shifted up or shifted down a certain amount of units. So for your first example, that's already filled in for you. We've got our pre-image is down here in the left, image up here. So what this is telling me is that it's been shifted up and then to the right. So look at your directions here. The fact that with all of your X's, we're adding five, that's gonna shift everything five to the right. So your R was right here, and now it's gonna end up being five to the right. Your Q is five to the right, S is five to the right, T is five to the right. And then with your Y, since we're adding seven, we've got Q is not only gonna be five to the right, but then up seven, R is five to the right, up seven, T is five to the right, up seven, five to the right, up seven. We can also see with the ordered pairs that this literally adds 5 to the x's and adds 7 to the y's. So with a q, negative 6 plus 5 gives us our negative 1, negative 1 plus 7 gives us our negative 6, and so on. So we could just add 5 to each of our x values, add 5 to 1 to get 6, add 5 to negative 2 to get 3, and then add 7 to all of our y's. So I could do this first, or I could do the graph first, just like with the reflecting this the picture serves to kind of reinforce our points over here but i could really do either one first so let's go ahead and do number two together so i've got cde a triangle with vertices at two negative one so go ahead and plot your pre-image seven negative four and then E at 4, negative 6. So there's E. Okay, so we could um, shift each point first, but I'm going to focus on finding the points first, and then we'll see if it, if it matches up. So for this one, all of our X's will be subtracting 3, which on the graph will make it go to the left 3. But for each of our points, C, if I move it three units or subtract three units, will now be at a negative one. My X value for D, um, D prime, if I subtract three, will be at four. For E, it was at four, so now it will have an X value of one. For our Y's, we're adding eight, which is gonna shift it up. But adding eight to my y values, I get my c prime y value will be at seven. Be very careful with your signs here. This negative one plus eight is seven. Negative four plus eight is four. And my negative six plus eight is two. Okay, so my c prime should be at negative one, seven. And if I wanted to check that, I could count that it went to the left three, one, two, three, and then up eight. Five, six, seven, eight, and it did. Um, and from here, my image, my image should look exactly like my pre-image, just shifted. So if this doesn't end up looking like the exact same shape, something went wrong. So my D prime is at four, four. And then E prime is at one, two. Oh, I'm at two. 
use, I meant to use my red for this and I didn't. So again, I could take every single point and go to the left three and up eight, to the left three and up eight, but just as easy to do it with arithmetic and then make sure that my shape looks exactly the same. Okay, so we're running a little low on time. If the bell rings, that's okay. We'll finish this up tomorrow, but if you've got a little time here, go ahead and try number three for yourself and we'll end there. So go ahead and try number three, create your pre-image, and then use your rule here to make your image. Pause the video and I'll let you check number three. Okay. So your pre-image, they are going to overlap, so don't worry that they overlap, that's okay. Our pre-image was shifted two to the right and then down two, so all of our points should be two to the right and down two. Check your ordered pairs over here that you've added two to all of the x's and subtracted two from all of the y's. But there's our translation. Again, if you have questions, you might write it down at the bottom or in the margin, but we will definitely talk about any questions that you have tomorrow. So have a, a great rest of your day.